I treat people the way I want to be treated. Patrice Jackson is passionate about what she does, working with children and those in need of mental health treatment. She knew she wanted to help others for most of her life. Because I was in a foster system and I felt like, you know, someone helped me. So it was my job to, you know, pay it forward. She was working with patients and teens during COVID-19 and shortly taking a position with a school, her job was eliminated. Delivering over 1,300 orders. Driving for DoorDash helped pay the bills. Then Thanksgiving weekend, she was making a stop in Norristown. I stepped out my car to try to get a better look at the house's numbers because I couldn't see it from my car. And then someone was walking up on me, pushed me out the way, got in the car and drove off. All the food was in my car, didn't get paid. She says it was teens who took the car. And while she reported the theft to police, she went onto social media, hoping to find the car. It wasn't long before she learned it was towed away, too damaged to be driven again. The thieves crashed it on the expressway. Oh, before we can release it, you have to pay $1,500. I had no other option but to sign over my car because I didn't have $1,500 to get it. A bad weekend getting worse. Patrice only had liability insurance, so the car, it's worth nothing now. This situation kind of broke my heart because I was just like, I believe the very same kids that robbed me are the very same kids that I help out every day. And while police recovered some video of the theft, it didn't show who was behind it. And without a car, Patrice can't deliver food. Not that she wants to. But as things were looking bad, Patrice got a call that changed her outlook. She was offered a new job working with those in need. Because in order to keep my job at Elwyn, I have to have a car. So far, friends are letting her borrow transportation, but that can only go on for so long. Nothing has ever happened to me like this before. That's why she's hoping a holiday miracle will come her way so she can keep doing what she loves this holiday season and beyond. In Norristown, Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.